Another link is added in the canal zone's vital system of communications when an additional underwater telephone cable is laid in Panama by native workers under army supervision. The first step is to draw enough cable off the reel to reach from the water line to the message center. This is buried underground as a safety precaution against accidents. Then off to sea with the other end. As the barge is towed out from shore, the cable is paid off by hand, for these heavy reels weigh 40 tons apiece when loaded, and each reel holds 3,700 feet of four and one half inch cable. At the cable's core are the conductors or wires that carry the message. Over them is a lead sheet, and over this a coating of jute. Then a web of 60 protective wires, and another layer of jute. A lot of covering, but a cable must be waterproof and strong. Adding a new reel in midstream presents no problem to skilled hands. Once the conductors are joined and insulated, comes the job of joining and soldering each of the 60 guard wires. For a cable, like a chain, is no stronger than its weakest link. After the soldering comes more wrapping, until finally the entire area is wiped in a lead jacket. Splice completed and dropped over the stern, the barge resumes its course, the new cable running to its ocean bed. The opposite shore, and the cable is drawn high up to be anchored. Connecting the cable to the communication network in the message centers is now a routine detail. Yet beneath the calm surface of the bay we've just crossed, lies another strong link in the vital defenses which protect the United States lifeline through the Panama Canal and give warning against enemy aggression in this hemisphere. The cable is down and the job done. Another example of civilians and the armed forces working together. <laughs> 